Um, hallelujah. What's going on, everybody? Happy, what is it, Friday? It's Friday. <laughs> what is it, uh, June 9th, man? Uh, already June 9th, man, of the month was just June 1st yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, today's the 9th. Wow, praise the Lord. Wherever you may be in this big, beautiful world, just know God loves you. I love you, and that's the way it's always going to be. Um, you know, just because I speak truth and uh, reality of God to a world uh, and lies of fantasy, and lies that live in Lucifer's lies and fantasy world, uh, don't mean I hate you. I love you. I'm trying to get you the truth. God is trying to get you the truth. Let me rephrase that. God is trying to get the, the, the truth to you and his love through me to you. Praise the Lord, because it all comes from here out man if not i could care less i'd be like ah who cares man i'm gonna have fun enjoy my life but i choose to pick up my cross every day i just don't wear one around my neck i got one on my on my on my uh shoulder and my back daily uh following my lord and savior jesus christ every single day to make this world a brighter and better place and letting his reflective reflective light of jesus the light of the world shine through me to the world guys um i don't deserve no credit credit i'm a humble servant of my lord and savior jesus christ my king of my king the king of king lord of lords my king my lord my savior my big brother and uh he gave his life for me i'm gonna give his my best for him today and how about you Praise the Lord, guys. And look, uh, today's devotional is coming out of the upper room where the world meets to pray as one through the Holy Spirit of God. Let's do <laughs> through one, the Holy Spirit of God, which you receive when you ask Jesus Christ into your life. Now, I don't know about you, man, but I was, um, I'm going to sit back for a minute. I was very, very selfish. Uh, only was kind to people to get something from them. How about you? Uh, before I met the Lord, I was hopeless. Now I have hope. Before I met him and his Holy Spirit flowing through me, walking in the uh, spirit, his spirit of goodness, kindness, strength, wisdom, it's all flowing through him. It has nothing to do with me. He, uh, it's just amazing. Um, in the flesh, the flesh is selfish, holds grudges. <laughs> um, we go to the book of Galatians, very greedy, right? Give me that. You ain't getting mine or, you know, um, just, just plain selfish, man. It's all about me, 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 me. Forget everybody else, right? But it's God first. You all second out there, and Daryl's last. Finishing last in God's eyes is first, y'all. Keep that in mind. Today's um, devotional is called uh, Show Kindness, and the only way I could show kindness and forgiveness to a man um, back in the day who beat and bullied my daughter, took my freedom away, was walking in the Spirit, letting God change my heart from hateful to loving, um, unforgiving to forgiving, and only... This can happen um, with the Holy Spirit of God, the fruit of the Spirit. The closer we get to God, reading His Word and asking Him in the areas of our lives where we struggle and still the flesh comes alive, right? We need to ask Him to put the flesh to death, you know? And eventually, like, uh, I hardly cuss, maybe a cuss word a year now <laughs> compared to every 10 seconds. <laughs> Praise the Lord, um, because you know, the more closer we get to God, the more of his character flows through us, the more we fill up on his spirit, and wherever I go, I invite the Holy Spirit to have his way, more of you, Holy Spirit, more of you, God, less of Daryl, get Daryl out of the way, more of you flowing from the kingdom of heaven, man, it's just how it's got to be, and now we can show the fruit of the spirit, hold on for one second, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. He's like, hey, quit telling them about the fruit of the Spirit and go read it. <laughs> I'm obeying. Hallelujah, right? Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law, right? And that means we're not under Lucifer's law anymore. When we were, them chains were broken from Satan, the secular world. Now we're citizens of heaven. We're no longer a citizen of this world, secular system or Satan system. So we don't follow the law here. Yes, by the police and you know the court courts and different things like that. Of course, red light, stop signs, speed limits. But uh, we're talking about spiritually, and um, they're physical uh, laws. This is spiritually, right? We don't we don't have to be this, which is that was God's characteristics. Walking in the Spirit, inviting the Spirit in. You have to invite him in. He doesn't just kick the door down. He's a gentleman. God, you have to invite him in, and that's faith, man. And that's how your faith grows stronger each and every day to be more like Christ, man, because you're getting closer to God and more like him, away from Satan. Before, we were of Lucifer, when we were born into this generational curse. Adam and Eve's mistake in the garden, right? They ate off the big tree. 
they took a bite of the, un the forbidden tree, the fruit, whatever, right? Everybody says it was an apple, but nobody knows what it was. Scripture doesn't say so. They just say apple because there's a scripture in Psalm where we're the apple of God's eye. So I guess they assume that. But we can't add to God's word or take from it. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2 says that. And that's what my Catholic friends like to do out there. Take and add to God's word to make it their own because they're hypocrites and they're, you know, scribe, modern day scribes and Pharisees. But that's another video for another day. <laughs> and I've done many already. The Lord has exposed these Roman Catholics because I was raised Roman Catholic. But they walk in the, the spirit of Lucifer um, because they're not of God. They're of man trying to be God. But here's Lucifer's law, 19, chapter 5, 19 through 21. Now, the works of the flesh, Satan, are, which are evident. We're born into this stuff. Adultery, fornication, um, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, uh, sorcery, hatred, contention, jealousy, outburst of wrath. Ah, right? It used to be me all the time. Now I'm just like, ah, I'm easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> Woo, have your way. Uh, you, you simply don't know any better. Not I'm better than you, but you simply don't know any better. And I know better than to get angry at anybody because then I'm playing into the devil's hand, pulling me out of Christ's character, and we don't want to do that. But here we go. 21 says envy um, or selfish ambition, um, revelries, and uh, let's see, envy, murderous drunkenness, revelries, and like, of which I tell you beforehand, as I told you in the past, those who practice such things cannot in inherit the kingdom of heaven. So if we're still filthy and dirty of sin and not being cleansed by the blood of Jesus, then we're walking in, in Satan's, you know, we're still part of this Satan system and we can never be, we're, we're still a, a citizen here. We're not a citizen of heaven like I am and you are, brothers and sisters. But as brothers and sisters in Christ, believers in Jesus Christ, we need to walk in the Spirit. And that's what it comes down to, guys. So I'm glad I went and read that. Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23, that's God's characteristics, walking in the Spirit, and there's so many more. He's a comforter. He will give you words of wisdom for other people. It, it's just amazing, man, um, how the Spirit of God works through me and works through you when you call upon Him. And that's what it's all about, guys, calling on God, letting Him work through you to get that perfect purpose and plan fulfilled from Him through us that he's written out for our lives before we were in our even in our mother's wombs now here's show kindness is the topic though if we're not if we're christians and we're not filled up like if i fill this cup up to the top well and it overflows we want to be overflowing with god's love and his kindness and spirit right that's the way that's the only where place love is found it's flowing from the kingdom of heaven loyalty unforgiveness unfor um, hope courage strength but if uh our cup is empty. We don't have nothing to give away, man. And then we fall into the category of Galatians chapter 5, 19 through 21, which is Satan's characteristics, being greedy, um, selfish, unforgiving, etc., etc. Now, in the, in the book of Genesis, Rebecca gives Abraham's um, servant very, um, she shows her um, or him very much kindness. Um, and she's helping out a servant. And it's really cool to watch this go down, you know. Um, uh, we don't want to be uh, discri discriminated against anybody because of their color, their skin, um, religion, back, religious background. Religion killed Jesus, but when I'm speaking truth about false teachers and false idols and they took their word from God's word, that's not judgment, that's truth. And people always, uh, you know, uh, take that and flip the script on that. And it's just sad when they do that. But in this, in the book of Genesis here, chapter 24, verses 12 through uh, 27, and I'm going to read them now. But um, misconstrue, I guess, or whatever, or Satan tells them, hey, they're judging you, you know, what you believe in. If you want to believe in a lowercase God, a little G God, and not the one true God, Father Yahweh, and the only way to him is through Jesus, the son, not his mother or dead saints, or Muhammad, or Joseph Smith, or Ellen G. White, or Jehovah Witness, Watchtower Society in Brooklyn, New York. None of these people. There's only one way to the Father, and that's through Jesus. And, uh, that's that's powerful man and just know that okay guys and uh we're gonna get into this right now thank you holy spirit having his way this morning and we're gonna get back on track here thank you lord it says then he said oh lord god of my master abraham please give me success this day and show kindness to my master abraham now back in the day here i'm gonna read the study notes as we go through oh lord god my master abraham this language does not mean that the servant himself did not believe in the living God. Rather, it was because of his faith that he prayed in this manner. The Lord had made his servant 
had made his covenant with Abraham. The servant was making an appeal on the basis of God's covenant loyalty to Abraham. So they, the servant was just praying for Abraham, you know, which is really amazing, right? Even though God was already showing him favor, it's just how the gentleman prayed and, and what, a, what the servant prayed and what a great way to pray, right? For all our family and friends, right? So it says here, um, kindness, his covenant loyal, his, his covenant loyal, loyalty in the book of Psalms. Um, this is the principal word used to describe God's loyal love to all of us. And this is the same kindness and love we should show uh, one another, guys, okay? Praise the Lord. So it says here um, in verse 14, Now let it be that the young woman to whom I say, Please let down your pitcher that I may drink. And she says, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. Let, let her be the one you have appointed for the servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. And it was just all about um, Rebecca here showing um, um, Abraham's servant just some really kindness and love by, you know, watering his camel, right? That was, you know, out on a long journey. So verse 19 says, And when she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have finished drinking. So the study note on that says, I draw water for the camels. This gesture went far beyond her social duties. She didn't have to do this. She gave them water. She didn't have to feed the animals, right? Praise God. This is true kindness, man. This was precious, precious um, precisely the proof that the servant had requested from the Lord. So the, the, the um, servant was requesting this prayer, you know, and, and looking for kindness somewhere, and he received it. Praise the Lord, right? I mean, it's just amazing. So we're going to get on with the reading now, coming out of the upper room and showing kindness that she showed not only to the, the gentleman, you know, but um, but to the uh, the camel as well, extended it out when she didn't have to. And this is precisely like it says in the study note, the kindness and love that we got to share for others and God's creations, the little squirrels around me, the birds, me and my wife feed every day. And it doesn't make us... Um, better than anybody you know it's just um we just love god's creations and they're just so beautiful and uh you know um, it's just ma amazing um it doesn't make you more righteous feeding animals and other people don't we're just righteous because of the blood of jesus he makes us righteous and his love flows through us and we show kindness to the animals to everybody it's so cool come here buddy and uh, i'll just give you a little little guy over here Come here, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> See, I'm going to extend my kindness to this little guy. <laughs> here you go, buddy. Come here, buddy. It's okay. There you go. You enjoy those, okay? All right, all right. All right. Praise the Lord, guys. And that's, you know, it's like what makes my life very enjoyable and amazing today. And I couldn't imagine how Rebecca felt after she gave, the, you know, the man some water that, but extended it to the, to the, to the camel. It's a good feeling deep inside, man. That's all I can say. Praise the Lord. Show kindness. And uh, here it is in um, Faith Okella from uh, Kyo, Kaijodo County in Kenya. Wow. Praise the Lord. Long way away, but holding it down for the Lord. It says in today's scripture, we read about Rebecca's generosity and kindness to Abraham's servant, who was a stranger to her. Her kindness eventually led her to marry Isaac. You can read about that in the book of Genesis there. And it says, when I, was a young, when I was younger, I also experienced this kindness of a stranger. My family and I lived in South Africa. As a Kenyan, I knew well that I was a foreigner. And I was prepared to handle the discrimination. Discrimination just means, to me, just hatred, racism, hatred. Discriminating against people because they're not like you or different, right? <coughs> Praise the Lord. Excuse me. It says, one morning... We went to a distant mall with my dad to buy some equipment. Um, when we got there to the store, my dad was redirected to a nearby shop. We sat under a tree near an exit of the mall and waited for my dad. While we waited, a white man, because, you know, they were obviously of color, different, right? Um, like me, Caucasian and different color, black uh, skin tone, right? Praise the Lord, just different, like a box of crayons. We're all beautiful, right? We all come together to make a beautiful picture. A white man walked up, walked by multiple times and looked at us. We initially assumed he was lost, but after a while we became concerned and my mother began praying. Praise the Lord. 
Mom had great faith to go right into prayer. The man eventually approached us with a smile. Hey. <laughs> right? And had, and had a short talk with my mother and offered to buy us lunch. Come on now. Praise the Lord, right? This is kindness that's missing in the world. I was amazed by this man's kindness. That day I decided to show kindness to strangers just as he showed kindness to me and my family. Because... The reward of that is so amazing, guys. Just feeding the little squirrel, more or less giving a sandwich or money to a family or, or a homeless guy or a woman or whoever it might be or feeding that lonely cat that don't have a family or a home that was left behind. It's amazing. But to show this kindness, the reward from God is just tremendous. It says, let us all show kindness to a stranger today. Um, wherever you may be, guys, show some kindness to a stranger. Um, you know, all up you know, a dollar bill, five dollar bill, whatever God moves you to do today. Let the Holy Spirit, and ask the Holy Spirit, lead me to someone today, Lord. Use me to show your kindness to someone, to make a difference in someone's life today. That's what you want to do today. Ask God, and he will present that opportunity to you. Let us show kindness to stranger today. We never know whose life might be changed, like these people's lives were changed. They got nervous. Um, they were in a place where, you know, maybe not, you don't see too many people of color, lots of white people, right? South Africa, right? Um, and they were nervous. They were like, oh no, mom went into prayer. Faith, man. And he comes up and offers food, right? Praise the Lord. So they had a bad idea about him. And, you know, we can't discriminate against anyone because you can't judge a book by its cover. How about that one? Praise the Lord. All right, guys, this is going to wrap it up today. Um, thought for today is following Rebecca's example, right? The feeding Abraham's servant. I will be kind to a stranger today. Make that a top priority today, guys. Be kind to a stranger today and show the love of God to them and, and invite them into this kingdom of heaven's family where only love flows. This world offers up there, um, God sends down love. Love comes from heaven, right? That's the only place it flows from. Um, you know, and here on the earth is lust, you know, and people do things here to get something from you. But in Rebecca's case, in this gentleman's case, and in Jesus's case at the cross, he did it just to be kind and didn't want nothing in return, just to do something kind for someone else, guys. All right. Praise the Lord. Peace be with you. Show some kindness today. And if the good Lord takes me home before you, before I do a next video, I will leave the lights on like Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord, guys. Lift up cups of coffee up to the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise our King of King, Lord of Lords, man. Cheers to everybody out there fighting a good fight of faith. And remember, when you're dang going your way, what do we say? Just pray. Let God come into the situation and give you that victory. The V-I-C-T-O-R-Y victory in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit power. Let it flow. Walk in the Spirit and show some kindness today. Peace. <laughs>